What to do, Lemon Crew? Uh, welcome to a painting tutorial today. Uh, one thing that I think needs covered a lot more is Tyranid speed painting, because obviously if you have a lot of Tyranids, you're going to want to get them painted very quickly. So one thing I do, he, he has a, a good technique. <clears throat> so this works for both Termagants and Hormagons and e even Gene Stealers if you wanted to do that. But I've already done it with all my Hormagons. I've got 62 of these painted now and I'm looking to get all these termagants painted now. So you're going to start with a grey termagant, okay? And first thing you're going to do, you're not going to spray paint it because I think that this, not only does it make it faster, but this is a technique I use on a lot of my tyranids because I think it makes the red paint look a lot more, you know, biological. And well, for instance, if you look at this, this one's been primed white. I've used this as an example. This one has actually been primed properly with white. And you can see the red is a lot more the, the camera's not going to capture it as well, but it's a, it stands out a lot more. Whereas this one, it looks a lot more kind of biological and like it belongs where it is. So once you've done this, you want to start on applying, you want to base coat the whole thing red. You, you can use spray paint for this, but I prefer to apply it by hand because I prefer the effect that it gives, like I've just shown you with this. But you could spray paint it because after all, you are speed painting, so spray painting would technically be the better option here. Once you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is apply the carapace colour. You want to do this in about to... So you, when, you, when you're spray painting them, first of all, getting them red, you want to do it to a, about a group of six, and then you can apply the carapace to that group of six, as I've done here. I'm halfway through doing that. This one was already primed, so I've just left it how it was. Now, once you've done that, the carapace, next thing to do I think is the the gun, or, or you might even want to do the gun before the carapace. Obviously, with hormagons, you won't have to bother with this. But some people do the carapace and the gun the same color because obviously you can do whatever colors you want. There are no limits. But my guns are blue, so I actually do the blue before I do the carapace because I think that it's easier considering the fact that there are actual carapace pieces on the gun. After you've done the gun, the next thing you're going to do is the spines. When I say the spines, I mean like these little spikes about that you get, because I do them black. A lot of people do do them the same colour as the carapace, but, you know, for instance, Leviathan, they would have a purple carapace and a red uh, talony kind of thing. And you're also going to do the hoofs for this, any colour kind of spikes on them. If you're doing hormagaunts, you're going to do the siding talons that colour, or you might not, because after all, there aren't any limits. Now that you've got the spines done, the next thing to do is the face. Now a lot of people don't bother with the face. As you can see, obviously on Tyranids and Hormagons, when you're painting them, you'll notice that a lot of them have their mouth closed, whereas a lot of others have their mouth open. So I'm just trying to find an example with a mouth open that I've painted. Um, here's one. So this one here has its mouth closed. So I've painted the teeth on that. This one has its mouth open. So you don't have to paint the teeth. You can completely miss out this step, especially if you're trying to paint them just quickly. And I actually paint the teeth and the tongue, uh, both as their own uh, little step to this speed painting kind of thing in, in the group of six. So once I had the whole group, uh, the basic colors on like the talons, the carapace and the skin and the gun for the termagants, I would go ahead and do the face because I think that it makes it look more real and even better. So I will do the face on this one eventually. I've just not gotten to doing that yet. Obviously, you're going to have to keep in mind the fact that you're not priming your miniatures. Now, you might want to, you might not. But the fact that I'm not, for instance, and you might copy, uh, the paint isn't going to stick very well at all. So you are going to have to put on quite thick layers especially when you're putting on the first coat. Uh, once you've put on the uh, the face, kind of the, for the mouth, next thing you're going to want to do is the eyes. Now the eyes are a very fine detail, so once again you can miss them out, but I do the eyes purple, like that. The mouth on this one hasn't been painted as good as a lot of the others, but yeah. Then when you come to do the base after that finally, uh, you can make it a very simple base, like this one, where I've literally just coloured it and it doesn't look that good because you can see the slit there. Or, if you want, you can just give it a nice, normal, proper base. Like if you look at this one, 
that's not a good example because the base isn't that good on that one. But for instance, this one, the base is quite nice. You can see we have a tuft of grass there. You can't see that little slit. The side of the bit isn't very nice, but this is one of the first hormagons I painted, so yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope that it helps you speed paint your Tyranids so you can get them on the field painted rather than unpainted because I cannot stand <laughs> unpainted miniatures. Uh, so once I've uh, painted all my termagants, that's actually all the Tyranids I own will be painted. I have some Venomthropes and Zonthropes coming in the post, but you know I'll get to that when they arrive. Uh, once I've done my Tyranids, I need to move on to all my Gene Stealer cults, and then I've got all my Death Watch. So quite a lot to do. I'm focusing on my Tyranids right now. So if you like the video, leave a like and let us know how your Tyranids are coming in the comments. So thank you for watching. And goodbye.